Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're going to be talking about the beginnings of a new playlist. This playlist is called Loop Quantum Gravity, String Theory, and Quantum Gravity in general. So in this first video, I'm going to talk to you just about what my sources are, what the prerequisites for this are going to be. This is going to be released to the general public. My next video, which is going to dive into this, start diving into the content, will also be released to you the general public, and then subsequent videos I'm thinking are probably going to be monetized at least to a small degree because again, these topics are difficult and it took a lot of effort to try to organize this in a way that I think is presentable uh, and easy to understand, hopefully. So with that being said, let's get straight into the material here. So today's going to be quite kind of short. I just want to give you guys what the how, what all my sources are, what my background is, if you want to um, uh, stay in touch with the uh, literature on this, I'm going to sort of give you the rundown on what I think is really good literature that gives you like really good derivations, really good understanding of material, and um, then after this we're going to start getting into the content. And so, uh, and the structure of this is going to be loop quantum gravity first, then string theory, and then uh, we're going to talk about quantum gravity in general. I suspect this is going to be a long playlist, so let's let's get right into this. So, uh, there's a couple, there's a lot of sources that I went through uh, for quite some time in developing this uh, series on quantum gravity. Okay, and the sources are as follows. So there's a couple of really good um, YouTube videos. But again, my apologies for the dog in the background. Um, he's super, super annoying. He barks at everything. Um, the, so the first one here is uh, Loop Quantum Gravity by Car Carlo Rovelli. This is the YouTube series that everyone probably knows about on Loop Qu Quantum Gravity. He, Carlo Rovelli is one of the founders of this topic. Uh, and so it's a good source to go to if you want to get it straight from the horse's mouth. The other one here is String Theory and M3 by uh, Dr. Leonard Susskind, right? So Dr. Susskind, again, a huge um, uh, forf uh, forefront leader and originator in these ideas of String Theory. Um, he has a very good lecture series from Stanford on YouTube that is pretty well known that I'm going to be referencing as well throughout this series. Uh, another really good one is physics, the, the Physics X playlist by Alex Flournoy. Unfortunately, Alex Flournoy is not with us anymore. He taught at, um, in Denver, I believe. I think it was actually in Boulder. Uh, a lot of high-level physics um, and mathematical physics. But this playlist, Physics X, is particularly interesting. He goes into uh, complex geometry quite well, which is a topic that we're going to go into when we talk about holonomy. Or holonomy. Um, and then there's a couple of others, right? So these ones are probably a little bit less well-known, but I think are very useful and helpful. This one, Quantum Gravity by René Lowell uh, from Perimeter Institute. And I think all of these ones are from Perimeter Institute. Uh, string Theory by, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name, uh, David, I think, uh, Giato. Uh, string Theory by Barton Zwiebach, uh, really um, half Peruvian, uh, so this sort of hit home for me a little bit. Uh, I really enjoyed this in this, um, this playlist as well. Again, from uh, Perimeter Institute. And, uh, and then Quantum Gravity by Bianca Dietrich. Now this one I think is a little bit more popular than some of the other ones. Uh, she's, I think, fairly well known within the physics community. Uh, her, her series on Quantum Gravity is quite good and quite canonical. Right. So all of these I'm going to be drawing from as we start this um, series on Quantum Gravity. Okay. I'm also going to be drawing from some of the uh, playlists that I've made myself, uh, and I'm going to, the, some of the prerequisites here are going to be just a general understanding of concepts in general relativity, and a little bit of concepts in quantum gravity, however we're going to, uh, I'm 
I want this to be relatively self-contained, so anything that I reference that I say you should know, I'll go over hopefully a little bit, just so that um, you stay up to speed and you don't have to uh, flip-flop between videos and so forth, okay? And different playlists, and hopefully I want this to be relatively self-contained, that's, that's the point here. Okay, so let's get into some papers. <laughs> so I have a lot of papers listed here. I've, read a lot on this topic. It's a super, super interesting topic. The first one here, uh, Introduction to Hamiltonian Formulation of General Relativity and uh, Homogeneous Cosmologies. This is a, f this is a really good um, uh, introduction to this concept of uh, the Hamiltonian Formulation for General Relativity. Uh, we're going to get into the ADM formalism. At, at each one of these papers, and even the videos, they sort of come at these topics like the ADM formalism, um, Ashkatar variables, and so forth from different points of view, uh, which is really what I wanted to sort of understand before uh, presenting this topic to you guys as well. Um, and so this is one point of view that it comes, that um, it, it, sort, it sort of um, uh, addresses and presents. And this, um, it's, it's really good. This is a really recent paper, 2023. Um, and so this is, uh, this is a really good paper. I really, it's another really good paper, even more recent, January, 2024. This is a part one. So, I'm, uh, uh, there's going to be a part two, hopefully, um, on step-by-step -step canonical quantum gravity on Ashkatar's new variables. So Ashkatar's variables are important when we start talking about uh, connections and spin connections on space-time, on curved space-time, curved complex manifolds, and so forth. And uh, this is a really good paper that dives into the details, a lot of really good, nice derivations as well that I'll be presenting in this video series. Uh, Ashkatar variables again. Uh, so this comes at it from a different, uh, a different angle. This is uh, in classical general relativity. This is going to give us, this is a good way of sort of understanding Ashkatar's variables um, before we dive into the spin connection and quantizing gravity. Then we have uh, this. So this author, I really like his stuff. He really goes into some good derivations. I don't know how to pronounce this. It's I think it's Weitler. Uh, or Cordant, and again, I don't know how to pronounce this. I don't really know where he's from either, but he's, he's, I've read a couple of his papers. Uh, and when we were going over general relativity, the EM construct for general relativity, he had a really good paper on that as well. But this is a really good uh, mathematical introduction. Uh, I wouldn't even say an introduction. This goes into quite depth on the sort of the mathematical, uh, formulation of GR and he really does a, I think a very good job at uh, presenting some derivations as well uh, then there's this one the Hamiltonian formulation of general relativity again uh, this is strong fo focus on the ADM formalism we'll go into exactly what the ADM formalism is I'm throwing a lot of these terms at you right now but this again this video is just an introduction getting you uh, getting your feet wet with um, where I'm drawing my sources from. So this is another really good paper by Francis Tong, again, 2006, so then some of these are a little bit older than the others. Another fairly recent one on the ADM formalism that I really like is uh, Introduction to the ADM Formalism. Um, uh, this, uh, again, 2023, so really, but some of this stuff is fairly recent, which is good. The, the more recent the topic, um, the more you're going to get out of it, I think. So just think about it. If you are reading a paper that was written in 1994, okay, it, it, that's drawing on the knowledge that up until that point. Whereas, so you're getting all that knowledge, but if you're reading a paper in 2024, uh, then you will be getting uh, topics not just from night up from the beginnings of when we started learning this topic to 1994, but also from there to now. Okay, so uh, I'm drawing a lot, a lot upon these um, papers that are fairly recent because they cover just so much more um, 
And so that's one of the reasons why I do this. And then two others, the three plus one formalism also, uh, and, in, uh, and basis for numerical relativity. This is a little bit, um, a little bit more outdated. This talks a little bit also about the ADM formalism and why it's important. It gets into numerical methods as well, so that we might be able to incorporate this into our computers and sort of be able to generate algorithms that help us understand this as well. And I think I might try to do that a little bit in this in this series also. We'll see how that goes. And then um, uh, the Hamiltonian formulation for general relativity. So again, um, this is not by Francis Tong. This is because uh, uh, Francis Tong was 2006. This one was a, a, around the same time. This this was uh, 2005, but I believe this was a, this is a different paper. On um, the the two the two topics are very similar though. They just come at a few uh, idea, a few concepts uh, different in different ways. Again, the the point that I'm trying to make here is that. The more you read on this, the more you sort of understand these topics from slightly nuanced, perspe uh, nuanced pers perspectives. And those slightly nuanced perspectives, it's even, you know, the wording sometimes even helps. Like if someone talks to you about uh, the ADM formalism, for example, or if you read something about the ADM formalism, then, and you can't quite get your head around it, you can't quite understand it because of the way they worded it in one way or another. But then someone else presents the same concept to you, but in a different way, in a different, that they just worded it a little bit different. Then your mind thinks, oh my gosh, that actually makes sense. So the primary reason I am drawing on so much here is because of that, right? Is because I wanted to get the slight wording that made sense to me so that I can present that to you, okay? And hopefully I'll do this in a way where um, we can uh, get the best wording possible for us to be able to understand these concepts. And so with that being said, these are all the prerequisites. I wouldn't really call them prerequisites, right? So I'm gonna be going through them. Uh, the prerequisites largely entail uh, from some general calculus, a little bit of uh, maybe abstract group theory uh, and some quantum mechanics. I'm not going to rely totally on quantum field theory and when quantum field theory is necessary I'll present the topic again so that you don't have to bounce between playlists and videos. I want this again to be relatively self-contained. So if you like this kind of content make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure to go into my Patreon page if you want to support the channel and these videos also are going to be monetized on my YouTube channel as well. So if you become a member on my YouTube channel, you'll be able to access notes uh, that come out on a weekly basis and you will be able to access these videos as well. If you want to understand loop quantum, quantum gravity, string theory, and uh, quantum gravity. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.